So do you want to talk about why your Quran doesn't teach your Tawheed? It teaches that you have multiple gods or multiple persons who are God. Like one is the spirit, the other is no. According to chapter 4, Surat An-Nisa 4, Ayah 171, Jesus is said to be, Kalimatuhu al-Qaha illa Maryam, meaning the word of him cast down to Mary, wa ruhin minhu, and a spirit from him. I want you to look with your own eyes. O people of the book, do not go extremes regarding your faith. Say nothing about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah and the fulfillment of his word through Mary not, and the spirit. You're reading a terrible translation. That's not what it doesn't say fulfillment of his word. It says, Kalimatuhu, and his word, which he can cast down to Mary. So you see, you're even reading translations that deceive you. And that's how you became Muslim, because they deceived you? Here, let me show you the Arabic. My goodness, they're deceiving you, man. And you read a translation that deceived you, and you became Muslim. Wow. Wow, amazing. Here, let me read it to you. Here's an accurate translation. I'll show you. First, let me show you Arabic in transliteration. Okay, right here. And then I'm going to put the ayah right here. See? Yeah, but he can't read Arabic Orthodox. He's learning. So I got to give him a transliteration. Thank the Lord we have one. Innama al Masihu Isa ibn Maryama Rasulu Allah. Allah, he dated, but that's adding the tashkil. Wa kalimatuhu. And the word of him. Al-Qaha illa Maryama wa ruhin minhu and a spirit from him. So here's a little translation. Ironically, it's telling you that Jesus is no more a messenger, but then it makes him more than a messenger. Here you go. Here it is. Okay, here I'm gonna put it on the screen. People of the book, go not beyond the bounds in your religion and say not as to God, but the truth. Speak the truth about Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only messenger of God, and his word that he committed to Mary, Mary, and a spirit from him. So here the Quran and Islamic tradition. Gives Jesus two names that it gives no one else. He's called Kalimat Allah and Ruh Allah. The word of Allah and the spirit of Allah. It's, these titles are given to no one else. You can ask your sheikh. Say, sheikh, are the names of Allah, Kalimat Allah, I'm sorry, the names of Isa, Jesus, Kalimat Allah and Ruh Allah. He, is he called the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah? Yes. In fact, I have Muslim sources say that. And I'll give it to you in a minute. But my point is, these titles are not given to anyone but Jesus. And it says that Jesus was the word that was sent down it says, the word of Allah that was sent down to Mary. Well, how can he be sent down to Mary if he wasn't up with Allah? Can you explain that logic to me? Uh, can you, could you explain again, please? Okay. The Quran says, Jesus is the word of Allah that he cast down. Al-Qaha, ask your sheikh, what does Al-Qaha mean? Allah, Maryam, means sent down, cast down unto Mary. So that means if he's cast down to Mary, that means he was up and came down. And notice he came down as a spirit. Because if he was up, he didn't have flesh. He came down as spirit to become flesh from Mary. So why is the Quran telling you that Jesus was already there before he was born of Mary? But you just said he got sent down as a spirit to be created in Mary. You believe that as a Muslim. You don't believe that Jesus was there with Allah before he became flesh. So here your Quran makes a mistake in agreeing with our theology. That's my point. Your Quran is confused and contradictory because it takes things that Christians believe, mixes it up only mm -hmm. to embarrass Muslims. Can you show me where it says Muhammad or Moses came down to their mother and a spirit from him? I mean, the birth of Jesus is like a miracle. Oh, so he came down. So you're saying the miracle is he was already there as a spirit and he came down. That means if he was already there before he became flesh, then you just admit he was already existing before he became flesh from Mary. I never said that. That's what the Quran is saying. I just showed it to you. The word came <laughs> down, Ruh and Minu, a spirit from him. So he came as a spirit down to Mary. It's right there. Let me give you other translations. So, you know, I don't think I'm making it up here. I wrote articles on this, but here. So if you're God, like I don't believe Elohim, you're God, God, but if Elohim ahead. sends down something, does that mean that it's already up with him? Yes, if he sends down angels, that means what? They were not there? So God Anything, anything, down... anything. Like if he just sends down anything, it can be anything. No, we're not talking about anything. So when God sends down angels, so that means they're not really there? Don't use bad analogies. It's not going to help your case. So when God sends down the spirit, the spirit wasn't <laughs> up? He can create it and then send it down. You just read the verses where it says the spirit and the angels come down by the command of Allah. So that means mm -hmm. he created them out of nothing instead of sending down. For, so Gabriel didn't come down from heaven and uh, the spirit didn't come down from heaven. So you're trying hard to deny the obvious, but it's okay. I know it's it's you're in a corner, but that's fine. But let me show you. Okay, here you go. Yes. Different translations. Okay, Different translations here of the ayah 4171. Jesus the Messiah, the son of Mary, was Allah's messenger. His word breathed into Mary and a spirit emanating from him. So... And he went into it. Okay, that's one translation by a Muslim. Let me get you the article, by the way. And I give you the link online, you see it. So here's the article I wrote on Isa being Ruh Allah and what it means and refuting the Muslims who try to explain away. For the rest of you, here's the article. Use this information. Okay, so you got the article too. Let me show you some other translations. These are Muslim translation. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. 
the Messiah, Isa son of Mary, was a noble messenger of Allah. His words, which he blew into Maryam and a spirit from him, Musharraf Hussein. Okay, here's another one. T.B. Irving. T.B. Irving. All right, here's another one. These are all Muslims, by the way. T.B. was a convert. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was merely God's messenger, and his word, which he cast into Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. So he came down into Mary, and he came down as a spirit. Farooq Malik. Farooq Malik. So here the Quran takes what John says, but doesn't understand that by quoting John, you created a contradiction in the Quran. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah, and his word be, which he bestowed on Mary, and a spirit from him, which took the shape of a child in her womb. Farooq Malik. And the links are there. One more. Well, I got a couple. Hold on. So you got... So I know, I don't know if it, what your tawheed is, but it's not that Allah is only one person, if that's what you think. Without doubt, Al-Masih Isa ibn Maryam is Rasulullah, and his kalima, which he bestowed on Maryam, and a ruh proceeding from him. Dr. Kamal Omar. These are all Muslims. Okay, now watch this dictionary, Islamic dictionary, Islamic dictionary. Ruh Allah, Spirit of God, a special title given by Prophet Muhammad to Jesus. And this is from M.A. Kazi, Muslim. Concise dictionary, Islamic terms, Kazi publications, page 57. So Jesus was there as a spirit with Allah as his word, and he came down into Mary and became flesh. That means he's already alive up there. And you know what the further proof of it is? You want further proof from your Quran that Jesus is not from the earth like you and me and Adam, but he Tell came me. down and Allah went back? You know, it's a further proof. If we are from the earth, we return to the earth. So Adam was from the earth, he returned to the earth. Muhammad earth, returned to the earth. Jesus didn't return to the earth. He went back to Allah, according to your Quran, mm -hmm. because that's where he came. Let me show it to you. If you're Sunni, then you are taught, this is what you're taught, that Jesus was taken bodily, physically to Allah and will return. This is Mutawatir Hadith. Okay. 4158. I'm going to mm -hmm. use I'm going to give you two translations. Let's show you. So now it makes sense. He came down from Allah and he went back to where he came from. He didn't come from the earth. We go to the earth because we came from the earth. He came from Allah and went back to Allah. Now it makes sense. Here it is. Chapter 4, verse 158. Surat al Nisa, 4158. Surat al Nisa. But Allah raised him, Isa, up, and they put within parentheses his body and soul unto himself, and he is in the heavens. And Allah is ever all powerful, all wise. Now, the reason why they added body and soul, because according to your mutawatir ahadith, multiply attested sound narrations, supposedly your prophet taught that Jesus was taken physically to heaven, so he's alive physically and will come down body and soul physically. Okay, but let me give you another translation that okay. doesn't have these parent these words in parentheses. Four one fifty eight in Arbery. 4158 chapter 4 Surah Nisa ayah 158 God raised him up to him so where did Jesus go heaven to Allah to Allah not heaven to Allah because mm -hmm. there's a difference between heaven and Allah now mm -hmm. there's another ayah 355 Surah al Imran Surah al Imran chapter 3 verse 55 another ayah chapter 3 verse 55 yeah. where did Allah, where did Jesus go here let me show you two translations 355 Surah Al-Imran, Ayah 55. Khan. And remember when Allah said, Oh, Isa, I will take you and raise you to myself. And it goes on. It's not related because there's an mm -hmm. clear view of the falsehood of the people. Now, here is Arbery, 355. 355. Arbery. When God said, Jesus, I will take thee to me and will raise thee to me. So two ayat, two verses, 355, 4158 say, Allah took Jesus to himself. Now it makes sense. If Jesus came down from Allah, that means he's not from the earth. So that means he goes back to where he came from. As or as we're from Adam, Adam's from dust, we go back to the dust. So the Quran only says, and you can ask your sheikh to prove me wrong, only mm -hmm. says Jesus was taken to Allah. No one else is said to be taken to Allah. Not even Muhammad who died, and he's in the grave in Barzakh. So here we have Jesus, the only one said, only one, you're not going to find anyone else, mm -hmm. that says he came down as Allah's word into Mary. And came as a spirit from him and went to Allah. It's only said of Jesus. So I want to ask you a question. So for 2,000 years, Jesus is in a physical body. Where? Heaven, by Allah. Allah, right? And where is Allah? Above the throne. So you just said the Quran says Jesus is above the throne. That's what it says. To me. It didn't say I'm going to take you to the first heaven, second heaven, mm. third heaven. To me. I'm taking you to me. You just said Allah is above the throne. So you just said for the last 2,000 years, your Isa is with Allah above the throne. See the problem the Quran creates for you? Because the Quran is quoting Christians, not realizing, oh, hold on. If I say this, I just created problems for the ummah. Yeah, your prophet created problems for you. That's why someone who reads the Bible of the Quran with an open heart can never be Muslim. Never. But sadly, you didn't know enough. You were young and you studied. So what are you going to do with the fact that Isa, your Isa, was with mm -hmm. Allah before he was born of Mary, was born of Mary, creates like your Allah, 
breathes life into things, clay, like your Allah, is now alive with your Allah for 2,000 years in a physical body. Whereas your, your Muhammad that you're taught, he's Al-Insan, Al-Kamal, perfect man, died and buried. Mm -hmm. And your Quran rebukes him for committing sin. And he's nowhere near the glory of Isa. So why are you following him? Why are you following him? Wait a second, I'm eating. Oh, you're eating. I like that. So yeah, eat. go ahead, keep eating. <laughs> so why are you following this man who, who's nothing in comparison to you? Even your Isa, your Isa of the Quran, mm -hmm. your Isa, whom we don't believe is the real Jesus, yeah. makes your Muhammad look nothing. And you see this man right here, Nuhadiv. He's a Muslim who left Islam, who now follows the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave his testimony yesterday. This man right here. He gave his testimony yesterday. He left Islam for the real Jesus. I pray you'll be one of them. But my point is to you, mm -hmm. your Muhammad is not even close to the Isa that you believe is Jesus, according to your Quran. So why do you follow Muhammad over against Isa? I mean, of course, Muhammad and Isa, that Isa is like, he's the Messiah. Of course, he's is other thing than Muhammad. Muhammad is the seed of the prophet. You don't even know what it means from the Quran. What does Messiah mean? From the Quran? So you follow Muhammad mm -hmm. into confusion. Oh yeah, he's Messiah. Okay, why? Why is he Messiah? And what does it mean that he's Messiah? Show me from Quran. I mean, when we take a look at Messiah, yeah, I, I research. I researched also that, like in some verses of the Bible, like Messiah refers to David, the king of the, the king David. So again, notice what you did. You went to my Bible to explain your Quran, but my Bible is going to bury. I don't want to explain the Bible and the Quran. Okay, I'm so just saying you want to me explain Messiah. Messiah. The Jason, what does mm -hmm. the Messiah mean? The Quran, not my Bible, because you if you go my Bible, you're going to hurt the Quran. Because I'll show you how that destroys the Quran. Can you show me Messiah, the meaning in Quran? My Bible is not going to help you. My Bible is going to destroy your Quran whenever you quote it. But that's fine. If you want to go to David, I'll be more than happy to show you how the, what the Bible says about David proves the Quran is a lie. Well, I'll get there. But I mm -hmm. first want you to show me, oh, he's Messiah. Okay. Why is he Messiah? What does it mean from your Quran? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're busy eating. That's why you can't find it, right? Or you, you follow a book that makes no sense blindly. May God save you from it as he's saving millions from it. So can you show me what Messiah means in your Quran? I'm looking. Yeah. Look all day until Hajj, until Ramadan. You're not going to find it. Until Jesus returns. You're not going to find it. The Quran doesn't explain. So if you want to go to my Bible, it's going to be the burial for the Quran. You want to use my Bible now? We can go to your Bible. You sure? We can go there. Okay. You said David is called the Messiah. Do you know where? No, I don't. I don't like that he is the Messiah, but I mean the word Messiah refers to him. Where? Where is it use of David? Right. Find it because that's going to now bury the Quran. I know what you're referring to, but I want you to find it for me. <clears throat> Let him still search it. Mm -hmm. They're trying to find it, guys. Let him find it. It's okay. I, I'm, I find it because I'll, I can make it easy for you. You're going to Google it. They're going to tell you Psalm 2. Is that it? Psalm 2. That's what they told you? Not really. I don't remember the verse. All right, fine. I want you to find it because I'm going to every verse you use from the Bible, I'm going to show you how it proves that Muhammad is an antichrist. He can't be a true prophet. That's what I'm waiting for. So I want you yeah. to bring me your verses. So but what word what were you referring to? There's Psalm 2 that's referring about the Mashiach, the Messiah of God, mm -hmm. but it's applied to Jesus. And there he's called the Son of God who will rule all the nations. You don't believe that as a Muslim. You don't believe Messiah, Son of God, who will rule all the nations. Because if you did, you can't be a Muslim. So you want me to show you the word Messiah in Psalm 2? Sheikh? Mm -hmm. By the way, Prophet Google is back. We made him Ahmad after two years. He's back again. So you want me to show you that? Yeah. Go okay. On. But you know, if I show you, it's going to show that Muhammad is an antichrist, right? Okay, here. Psalm 2. Mm -hmm. This is the one I'm going to bring it up. Then word anointed one is Mshicho. Mshicho, that means his Messiah, El Messiah. Arabic, I mean Hebrew, Mashiach. Here it goes, Psalm 2. Okay. What, which verse? Verse 2, but we're going to read all That's of okay. it. So if you look at Psalm 2, it's 12 verses, but we're going to read all of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Why do the nations rage and the peoples, if you have it open, I'm reading Legacy mm -hmm. Standard Bible, translation of the Hebrew, on vain things. The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh. That's the name of God in Hebrew. Your translation may say Lord, that's okay. And his anointed, that's the word Mashiach, Mashiach, his Messiah. So Yahweh and his Messiah saying, let us tear their fetters apart and cast away their cords from us. Now watch here who the Messiah is though. Okay? Now I told you it's not gonna be well for the Quran. So watch here, I'm gonna put the rest of it on the screen. He who sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord Adonai mocks them. Then he speaks to them in his anger and terrifies them in his fury saying, but as for me, I've installed my king Upon Zion, my holy mountain. Now here's the nightmare for Islam. I will surely tell of the decree of Yahweh. He said to me, you are my son, Bani. Today I've begotten you. Yelid dika. Yelid tika. I have begotten you. You are my son. So the Messiah is God's son, begotten of God. But then watch what happens. Oh, for, for Islam. Which Verses 8 to 9. Look at here. What, oh, sorry. Wrong one. Okay. Ask of me. And I will surely give you the nations as your inheritance. So God is saying to Messiah, his son, the nations will be your possession. And the ends of the earth as your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. 
you shall shatter them like a potter's vessel. But hold on. Psalm 2 says Messiah is the king who will own the nations. And they got to submit to him. And he is God's son. Muhammad said Allah is not the father. Messiah is not his son. So Psalm 2 shows your Quran is a lie. So why do you follow it? Why do you follow it? Oh, that's the word of God. Psalm 2 says the mm -hmm. Messiah, Shikho, is the king of the nations. The nations belong to him. And if they don't submit, God will destroy them. Mm -hmm. And that Messiah is the son of God. But Allah is nobody's father. Mm -hmm. No one is his son. And the Messiah is not his son. So you sure you want to use my Bible to explain what it means to be Messiah? I mean, you know that we don't really believe in the Bible. Oh, <laughs> but why did you want to go to the Bible to explain to me what Messiah means? So now give but me the your book, Messiah. isn't it? It's your book. No, I want you to tell me what Messiah means in your book because you call Jesus Messiah. Tell me why. Your book. Mm -hmm. Explain. In the Quran, it uh, states of the second coming of Isa. What? In the Quran, it's not really talking about. No, what? Uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. In the Quran, it says of the second coming of Isa. And... No, it doesn't say it explicitly. It's inferred. And not explicity, but with tafsir. See, look what you did. I said, show me Quran. You go to tafsir. Mm -hmm. That comes 200, 300. Can you show me in Quran? What Messiah means and why he's called Messiah. Don't go to my Bible because when I went to my Bible, we proved yeah. Muhammad is a liar. Show me in the Quran yeah. what Messiah means. Here, you have another ex Muslim. Glory to Jesus Christ. See, they're leaving Islam in the millions. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and coming to the true God. Glory to God. Pray for this young man because he was deceived into becoming a Muslim. And then we could talk about your Quran saying, My Bible is the true word of God, not corrupted like they taught you, but we'll get to that. I don't want to change subjects. So, I mean, obviously. He's a messiah because like Allah cleansed him, he purified him. Where does it say that, that he's messiah for that reason? Don't add stuff to the Quran. Show me the Quran says, you are the messiah because Allah cleansed you. Don't add to the Quran. Show me where the Quran tells you what it means for him to be messiah. Sheikh Google's not going to help you. Show me in the Quran, mm -hmm. it says, Ya Isa, you're the messiah because I'm going to cleanse you. Masaha. Show that to me. I'm waiting. I only can refer to it or ahadith. Exactly. The Quran makes a joke out of you because the Quran cannot answer anything. That's my point. And yet your tafsir, Tabari, comes 300 years later, and Qurtubi, and then Ibn Kathir, 700 years later. And they're not getting it from the Quran. They're getting it from the Jews and Christians. But when I show you what Messiah means in the scriptures, oh, but we don't believe your Bible. This is the religion. And you read this book, you read the Quran, and it convinced you to become Muslim? Stuck for Allah, stuck for Allah. You don't have an answer, right? Uh, right now, no. No, you won't find it. Because you're going to run to the commentators, and you can't explain it. Because your Quran has no answers. That's why you need Ibn Kathir and I need Qurtubi. And, and if I say, well, where did Ibn Kathir get that? And they don't even have one opinion. They'll say, some say it means this. Some say, Masaha means to rub because he used to rub and anoint. Or it means the traveler. They can't even agree. They don't even know. They have different opinions when you go to the tafsir. They don't even have one opinion. So I'm trying to figure out why the Quran leaves you confused. It says he's Messiah, but doesn't tell you what it means. You need to come back to the Bible, the true word of God. But anyway, so you don't have the answers for this. Now, why why does your Quran say Jesus was born of a virgin? What's the reason? What, uh, well, what do you mean by that? Your, Jesus is born of a virgin. You never yes. track your head. Why? Hey, wait, my, why? Because Allah made it so. Why? If Allah wants that Isa is to be born by a virgin, he is to be born by a virgin. Oh, he just, he just felt like it, like he was born? Okay, I'll just, of all the people, yeah, I'll make him be born because I have none better. Why? Like I said earlier, a miracle. But why do a miracle for him that he's born of a virgin? What was the purpose? So he just does miracles just to show off or there's a purpose? Do you have an answer? I mean, I could, yet, was, I could, I could now say because he's a messiah. But One second. One second. Abdul, what was, Aisha, what was Allah doing and Aisha doing when the goat ate your Quran and destroyed your Quran and your prophet is in hell? Keep barking, Abdul, and watch what I do to you and your deen. Some Muslim is manifesting. So go ahead. What's the reason? What was the reason? I, I could say because he's a messiah and, and why people is he should follow him. Why is he the Messiah? So you're going to go in a circle. Oh, he's the Messiah. Okay, now why is he the Messiah? What makes him the Messiah? What does it mean to be Messiah? I mean, when you ask me why he's the Messiah, I could say Allah decided to. Okay, but him, but not for Muhammad or Moses. Okay, that makes sense. So Allah just decided, I'm going to make Jesus Messiah, born of a virgin. I'm going to make his mother the greatest woman who ever existed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to only mention her in the Quran, no one else. And I'm going to permit Jesus to create like me and give life like me just because for the fun of it. And that's what you believe? But why he never said, like, I just, I want for fun. So he never said what? You said, I just made it for fun. But Because you're just, that's your logic. Oh, because Allah wanted him to be Messiah, wanted to be born of a virgin, wanted to be his word that came down to Mary, wanted him to be a spirit that came from him, wanted him to create and breathe life like him. He just wanted to. And only for him, and then made his mother the greatest of all women. And you're still not scratching your head. Why is he so special and better than even Muhammad in my Quran? Where's Muhammad's parents? Say it again. His father is in hell. And what? What else? Hell, hell. And what about his mother? I don't know where his mother is. According to the hadith that you refer to, she's in hell too. Sahih Muslim. You want me to show you that? Go on. 
So Muhammad, whom you were brainwashed into thinking he is Sayyid al Mursaleen, the leader of the messenger sent ones, and he's Al Insan al Kamil, the perfect man, and he's the seal of the prophets, and his mother is burning in hell. Yet Jesus, his mother is the greatest woman Allah created, the only woman mentioned by name, kept from sin like her son, and you're still not saying to yourself, man, what is it about Jesus? Here, let me get you the hadith. Huh? I hope you wake up, man. They deceived you. Your friends lied and deceived you, or they're ignorant. They don't know any better. But now you have no excuse. I pray you come to the truth. But let me get you the hadith one second. You're going to read it for me. I'll put them on this on the screen. Okay. All right. One second. I'm going to give you an article I wrote on this too. Mm -hmm. Man, amazing. This Jesus was just a man, and he's not even the greatest according to Islam. Muhammad is greater. God forbid such blasphemy. Amazing, right? It's just like Jesus is... Oh, doing Muhammad. One second. Let me let me do this. Let me get that. Can I ask you a question? During yes, when you search from every prophet, like in the Bible, from your prophet, was every parent a believer of of the of their child? With Abraham's parents, they were pagan. But was Moses's parents believers? I don't know. Yes. That's why I'm asking you. I'm asking. Yeah. Only one Abraham because he was the first one chosen. But all the prophets after Abraham. Abraham was the first chosen <clears throat> to be Khalil Allah, like you say. But all the prophets after him. Moses's parents were they pagans? No. They were Israelites who were part of the covenant community. What about David? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Um, yeah. All of their parents were believers with the exception of Abraham because he was the first man mm -hmm. chosen to be the one from whose seed would come the prophets. So after Abraham, everyone else, all of them, every one of them, they were born to believing parents, meaning they're part of the community, Bani Israel. Even your Quran says that Allah placed prophet mm -hmm. among Bani Israel. Okay. So when the parents of Abraham died, where they go? We're not told. I don't know. But where did your parents of Muhammad go? They're going to hell because they're disbelievers. No, because you just contradict yourself. Because according to what they lied to you, isn't Ishmael the ancestor of Muhammad? Did Ishmael. Ishmael supposedly go to the Kaaba and build the Kaaba in Mecca? Isn't it Ishmael? According to your yeah. Islam, they didn't teach you this? That supposedly Muhammad is from the line of Ishmael. Ishmael went to Mecca and built the Kaaba. Didn't they tell you this? With Abraham. Abraham and Ishmael. Why did Abraham mm -hmm. go? Because supposedly Ishmael was there. So Ishmael was there, right? Okay. So that means the descendants of Ishmael lived in Mecca. That's what they tell you, right? Because Muhammad is a son of Ishmael. So that means Muhammad's parents, they're descendants of Ishmael. So that means they would know about Ibrahim and the religion. There were a lot of uh, religions. No, let's try this again. According to mm -hmm. your tradition, go ask your sheikh. Yeah. The reason why they would run seven times around the Kaaba is because these were the practices that they learned from Ishmael. But their mistake was they added idols. Yes. So that means Muhammad's father and mother knew about Abraham, knew about the true God, knew about Ishmael, and knew about the religion. They still chose to be idolaters, and they went to hell. Why? What excuse do they have for being ignorant? I don't know. They didn't have. That's my point. So in the case of Abraham, I don't know where his parents went. We're not told went to mm -hmm. heaven or earth. But with the prophets that come from Abraham, yeah. Moses' parents were believers. David's parents were believers. They all came from the people of God, Israel, who knew God and knew what the deen was. So your prophet is supposedly from Abraham's line through Ishmael, mm. and the Kaaba was built by Abraham Ishmael, and the people knew about the religion of Ibrahim because you had the Hunafa, they tell you the Hanafi. Mm. So that means Muhammad's parents would have known about Allah, would have known about the deen, and yet they still cho chose to become um, kufar and go to hell. And yet supposedly then she gave birth to the greatest man who ever lived, and light came out of her private part when Muhammad was born. And she still went to hell. Right? I mean, they're disbelievers. Disbelievers go to hell. Why did Allah shame your prophet by not guiding them? Because you're telling me disbelievers, right? But mm -hmm. Jesus' mother, God, Allah made her the greatest woman. But he didn't do that for your prophet. He let your prophet be humiliated by allowing his mother and father die and go to hell. Man, what a nice God this is. He did this to the best of mankind. When when did the parents die of Muhammad? When the, when did the parents die of Muhammad? Abdullah died before Muhammad was born, according to tradition. But did Abdullah know that Allah is God because his name is Abdullah? Servant of Allah. No, no. When does when does his father and his mother died? I just Muhammad. answered you. Are you listening? Repeat what I said. Let's see if you're listening. I know you're running from this, but you're not gonna. No, no. Muhammad's father, like you said, died of before Allah. Muhammad was born. Abdullah mean? Servant of Allah. So he knew Allah because he's the slave of Allah. No, it's just an Arabic word. So who's Allah? Abdullah. He's Abdullah. He's a servant of who? Of La. Of La. La. No, Allah. Even if you say La. He's the slave of La Allah. So you're bearing yourself. What's Abdullah then? A descendant of Ishmael? Oh, then you don't know your religion. Anyway, so coming back to Muhammad's mother, Amina, mm -hmm. she's in hell according to your prophet. And yet Jesus, Allah made Jesus' mother greatest of all women and faultless. Man, mm -hmm. this and Jesus, no, but he's, he's just a messenger. He's just a man. Okay, here, let me show you where your idea says she's in hell. I'm going to let you read it, okay? Okay, but I, I want to answer you my question. Yeah. 
Muhammad's father died before he was born, right? Are you hearing my answer? You just want to ignore it. That doesn't mean he didn't know about the deen. I don't want to talk about the deen or something else. What? Muhammad, Muhammad, where got the seal of the Prophet, right? He's the seal Muhammad of the Prophet. Is what? Muhammad is the seal of the Prophet. What does the that got to do that there were people who knew the religion of Abraham before your Prophet, like Waraka bin Nofal? So Muhammad's parents were pagans. And Muhammad Why? got his revelation they when his parents died. Of Ibrahim. If the parents choose to be pagan, they're pagan. Okay, so, but why did Allah not do that for Jesus? He created Mary to be the greatest woman instead of allowing her to choose to become a pagan and burn in hell like Muhammad's mother. We got her free will. Oh, so did Mary have free will? Did she have free will? Come on, let's go with it. Not and really. yet he still made her the greatest woman and pure. And no, you don't have free will in Sunni Islam. Mm -hmm. It's kadr, takdir. Allah predestined. Pre and if my parents died before I became a prophet, how should I guide them? Because if your parents are born with Jews and Christians, and they know about Ibrahim and his religion, you just buried yourself. <laughs> My parents are also in Germany, a Christian country, and still they're not Christian. So that means they know Christianity, they choose to reject it and go to hell, yes. right? They choose so to reject it. So then you just made my point. Muhammad's parents had no excuse not to believe. And since Allah determines who becomes a believer, why didn't he make them believers like he did for Mary? You didn't answer the question, you ran. Did Mary have free will? Not really. Oh, so Allah chose her not to have free will, to create her to be perfect, why didn't you do that for your prophet instead of allowing them the free will to say, no, we're not going to follow Tawheed of Ibrahim, though we know it. We're going to worship idols and go to hell. What because Allah guides about? the one who he loves. Say what? Allah guides the one who he loves. That's it. You just made my point. Thank you. So Allah was pleased to make Mary the greatest woman, but was pleased to damn your prophet's mother to hell. Good job, Allah. You just made my argument. Are you listening? The argument is mm -hmm. Allah loves Jesus so much more than your prophet. He decreed and created Mary to be perfect, but he decreed and chose to guide Muhammad's parents to hell. Excellent. You just made my point. That was exactly my point. And you're not listening to yourself. You just made my point. So why did Allah, was he pleased to make Jesus' mother mm -hmm. a righteous woman, sinless and perfect, but he was pleased to misguide Muhammad's mother to hell? So you didn't answer that question. But, but me I mean, what does the parents have to do with the prophethood? You, are you on drugs, brother? I mean, honestly, do you? Do no, you, I'm not on drugs. I'm asking you, why mm -hmm. is Jesus' mother so special that she's the greatest woman? You keep tap dancing. Because he's a, a mother of the Messiah. Of course he's Also, different. the Messiah made her great. But I thought Muhammad is the greatest man. So why didn't he make his mother great? Say that again, please. Okay. You, please listen to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm just opening something. You I, just I said, oh, because she's the mother of Messiah. So yes. it's because the Messiah, he made his mother great. But I thought mm -hmm. Muhammad is the perfect man and the seal of prophet. So why couldn't he make his mother great? Do you hear your answer? I don't want you to now run from your answer. Oh, it's because she's the mother of the Messiah. In other words, because she was given the honor to give birth to Jesus, mm -hmm. it's Jesus who made her the greatest woman. But you guys keep telling me, Muhammad al-Insan al-Kamil, the perfect man, Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the leader of the sent ones, the leader of Bani Adam, seal of the prophets, and as great as Muhammad was, he still couldn't make his mother great. She ends up in hell. Are you listening to yourself? Because you're just yep. destroying the religion. Now, do you want to read the hadith before we continue here? I gave you the link. Go on, give me the hadith. Okay, I want you to read it. So that, you just made my case. This is Sahih Muslim, by the way. So people don't say, it's daif. Mm -hmm. It's daif. Daif jiddan. Daif. No, it's Sahih. Sahih Muslim. There it is. So I'm going to put it on the screen. And then I'm going to play Sheikh Asim Al-Hakim, if you want to hear it from his own mouth. And he's going to make the argument I made. I'm going to play him so you can hear. He's going to make my argument that they had no excuse to be unbelievers because they knew the religion. There were Jews and Christians and there were the Hunafa. Okay. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger saying, I sought permission to beg forgiveness for my mother, but he did mm. not grant it to me. I sought permission from him to visit her grave, and he did what? Look how cruel you are. Granted, granted yeah. permission. But you understand that means your prophet was being tortured by your God. Your God tortured your prophet. You know that, right? You know how? <clears throat> because he didn't let forgive his mother? Not only that, but every time you go to your mother's grave, knowing she's in hell, you're going to be happy? So what kind of God is this that says to your prophet, no, I won't forgive her. She's going to be in hell, but go visit her grave to be reminded she's in hell. Damn, talk about psychological turmoil. That's something Satan does. Satan does that. Okay, let's say I have a child. It's a disbeliever. There we go. Again. And I know when he doesn't become religious, he goes to hell. How can so, I ask for forgiveness and get him on religion okay. to be not in hell? Brother, we're going to go in a circle. You just told me Allah guides whom he wants and misguides mm -hmm. whom he wants. You just told me Allah chose to make Mary the perfect woman, the greatest mm -hmm. woman. But why didn't he choose that for your prophet if he's the greatest man? See, we're going in a circle again. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really know. My I, answer, I don't know. know. That's it. Don't argue for the sake of argument. That's fine. I, if you don't have an answer, you don't need to come up with one. But I'm just showing you that your Isa of the Quran is better than your Muhammad. I'm talking about Isa, not the Jesus of the Bible. Forget about mm -hmm. it. 
Paul is better than your Muhammad according in our Bible. But I'm saying the Isa that you think is Jesus, better than your, your Muhammad. But here, let me get you another hadith where the companions see him weeping, Sahih Muslim. So I want to show you. But Sam, how can you ask for forgiveness of a disbeliever? So why, why didn't Muhammad know that? And then why did Muhammad then <clears throat> weep? And then Allah says, it's okay, I won't forgive her. Go to the grave. Why didn't he say, don't, stop going to the grave so you don't remind yourself that she's in hell? So now if you know your son is in hell, are you going to go visit the grave to be reminded that he's in hell? I, from, my, from my knowledge, uh, Muhammad visited to a grave when he was old age. Okay, friend, let's try this again. Did Allah not give him permission after he told him, your mother is not forgiven, you can go visit her grave. So man, I'm asking you, mm -hmm. if Allah told you your son is in hell, yes. would you want to go visit the grave to remind that he's in hell or you want to stay away from it? I mean, it's still my son. I want to go to the grave. Oh, to be reminded that my God threw my son in hell because he could have guided him but chose to misguide him. Yes, okay. Anyway, now let's get you, do you relate do you reject Islam by heart? You don't want part of it. Islam is from hell. Muhammad is from hell. And but you don't do you want to be part of it or you reject it by you heart? Want me to be part of Satan? You want me to go to hell with your prophet? Then I'll become Nine, Muslim. Do you reject Islam by heart? Do you want me to speak Swahili? Let me say it again. From my heart, your prophet is in hell, mm -hmm. he's a son of the devil. Do you want me to so reject again? Islam by everything. Do you reject the Jesus of the New Testament who is son of God who says, I am the way and the truth and life from your heart, which means your prophet is in hell under his feet. From your heart, do you reject that? Not by Jesus heart. says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Since your prophet reject Jesus as God's son, he's in hell under the feet of Jesus, under his shoes. Do you reject from your heart that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life, and he brings you to the Father? From your heart, do you reject it? Say, I'm going to play Not your from heart. my heart. Not from my heart. Okay, good. That means there's hope for you. So now Jesus says, I am the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. One of the 99 names of Allah is the truth, Al-Haq. It's mm -hmm. never used for a prophet in your Quran. One of the 99 names of Allah is Al-Haq, yeah. the truth. Never used of a prophet in the Quran. Jesus says, I am the truth. And then Allah is the light. But Jesus says, I am the life. Now, can you show me in your Quran where a prophet says, I am the life? There is no verse that says it. Okay. Can you show me in your Quran where a prophet says, I am the truth? I mean, I can search, but I would no, say I don't find anything. No, there isn't. Yet Jesus in my Bible says, not only mm -hmm. I am the way, I am the truth and the life, and you cannot come to the Father except through me. Here. So I want to know something. Mm -hmm. If I go with my Bible and I don't do what you Muslims say, because you got to say it's corrupt, because if you admit it's not corrupt, it buries Islam. No, no, it's changed. But then I read this corrupt Bible, how beautiful the words are, much more mm -hmm. beautiful than your Quran, which is not corrupt. And I see Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. So Jesus says, I am the truth. No prophet says that. Mm -hmm. Only your God says in the Quran. I am the life. Something only your God says. But then he says he brings you to the Father. So is Allah your Father? Say it again. He's not our Father. We don't refer to him as Father. And yet Jesus said he is my Father. So you just proved your Allah is Satan. Did you read the verse? The verse not now showing? Though no one comes to the Father mm -hmm. but through me. But you just admit your God is not the Father. Yet Jesus says the God that exists is his Father. And he mm -hmm. becomes my father when I believe in him. So why should I follow your Allah? He's not my father. Why should I follow your God when Jesus tells me mm -hmm. the God that I will live with is my father, the father of Jesus. And if I mm -hmm. trust in Jesus, I become his son. <laughs> you just admit to everyone, Allah is mm -hmm. not the father. So why the hell would I want to follow Allah when he's not the God revealed in Jesus? I don't know. So why are you following Allah? He's not the God revealed in Jesus. Because I don't believe that God revealed in Jesus. But you just told me Jesus is Messiah, the son of Mary. Of course you believe. That God revealed himself in Jesus. I never said that God revealed himself into Jesus. Oh, so then when Jesus came, he wasn't revealing God to you? What was he revealing then? The word of God. And the word of God is what? God's revelation so you can know who God is? Yeah. Okay, so God revealed himself in Jesus. So the God revealed himself God in every prophet. revealed himself in Muhammad because Muhammad is a liar. According to so Jesus, did, Muhammad is a liar. So did God reveal himself into Moses, Abraham? And Moses and Abraham said God is the father which you just buried yourself because Moses said, God that sent him is the father mm -hmm. of Israel. You sure you want to go with Moses here? Let me show you Moses. Deuteronomy. So God revealed himself in Moses, in Abraham, in every prophet? Now what reveal meaning he sent them to make people know who God is. And Jesus mm -hmm. says, the God that I make known is my father. And if you believe in me, he will be your father. But now let me show you the God of Moses. Deuteronomy okay. 14. Hold on. Don't run. Because I'm going to show you the God that sent Moses to have Moses reveal God. He's not your God. This is now the Old Testament that the Jews follow and not just Christians. This mm -hmm. is the same Old Testament of the Jews who are not Christians. Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. You are the sons of Yahweh, your God. You are the sons of Yahweh, your God. You shall not gash yourselves nor shave your forehead for the sake of the dead. So here, the God revealed in Moses who sent Moses to make mm -hmm. himself known. He says, you are the sons of God. You're my sons. Again, are you a son of Allah? So then 
you don't worship the God of Moses. You're lying. Because God of Moses said, those who follow the covenant that I established Moses, they are my sons. So your Allah is not the God of the Jews revealed in their Torah that they believe is not corrupt, which we accept with them, nor is it the God that sent Jesus to make us know that that God is the father of Jesus. And if we believe in Jesus, he'll be our father. You just admit that's not your God. So why should I follow your Quran? Like I said earlier, I don't know. So then why do you follow it? Exodus 4.22 here. Again, this is Old Testament. Ask the Jews, mm -hmm. hey, can you open up your uh, Old Testament? Can you read this? It reads the same way because these books were with them before that we had them. Okay, Exodus 4.22. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, thus says Yahweh, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Israel is my son, my firstborn. And then I read to you the Psalms mm -hmm. where he says to the king, you are my son today, I've begotten you. So do you believe the king, the Messiah king, or even David the king is the begotten son of God? What again? Do you believe the king? Remember we read Psalm 2? Yes. He, <clears throat> he says to him, you are my son today, I've begotten you. saying to the king, do you believe the king, the king mm -hmm. that was anointed, whether David or Solomon or Jesus, mm -hmm. that that king is God's son begotten by God? Psalm no. 27, say it again. No. Okay. So. The God of Moses says, Israel's my firstborn son. The God who sent David, who sent yes. Solomon, who will raise up the king says, you are my son today, I've begotten you. The God who sent Jesus said, this is my son, I'm his father. And Jesus says, I take you to my father. And if you believe in me, he'll be your father. But the God of Muhammad says, no, I'm not a father to anyone. Who do you want me to believe? All these different prophets and their writings that came before Muhammad or say, no, nah, it's all corrupt, I'll follow Muhammad. You must be on drugs to follow Muhammad. I'll be honest with you because Moses says, God is the father, we are his sons. David says, the kings of Israel are the sons of God, and he is their father. Jesus says, God is my father, I'm his son. If you believe me, you'll be sons of God. Muhammad comes and says, no, Allah is the father to no one. None of us are his sons. But well, let me show you other prophets. These are Now, these are the Jewish prophets, the scriptures that the Jews have, yeah. we accept. So it's not just our scripture. Isaiah the prophet, what did he say? But isn't Isra the name Israel uh, was given to Jacob? And Israel is my son. And you are the sons and daughters of God. Here, Isaiah 63, 16. Isaiah 63, 16. Mm -hmm. It's another prophet of the Jews whose writings they accept and we accept too because we accept their Old Testament. Now here, he says to God, for you are our father. Though mm -hmm. Abraham does not know us and Israel does not recognize us, you, O Yahweh, are our father. Our redeemer from everlasting is your name. Isaiah 63, verse 16. And Isaiah 64, 8. Isaiah 64, 8. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Isaiah 64, 8. But now, O Yahweh, you are our father. We are the clay and you are our potter and all of us are the work of your hands. So Isaiah says, God is our father. Moses says, God is our father. David says, God is our father. And he begot me to be a son to rule for him. Solomon says, God is my father, I'm his son. Jesus says, God is my father. And if you believe me, you are sons. Mm -hmm. Muhammad says, Allah is not the father, we're not his sons. So I got multiple witnesses all before the Quran agreeing and Muhammad comes and contradicts and you want me to follow Islam. If you like the work we do, please consider giving this video a thumbs up to help spread its reach and save more Muslims, atheists, and non-Trinitarians on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, we would love to have you on our team. It's completely free. God bless you all.